What's going on guys? Sean here coming at y'all with a quick little video. I know it's been a week or two since I hit y'all up and I am sorry for that. It's been a little while since I put out a video. No big deal. Bye week. We all needed a rest, man. You guys know better. I'm not like YouTube, regular YouTube guys. I'm not on here filling your head full of bullshit every day talking about my cousin's third aunt's wife's nephew's niece, you know, who had a report that Jalen Hurts is the second sexiest man alive. No, I'm not here with all that. I'm here with what I think, what I feel. It's game day. Kansas City Chiefs, Philadelphia Eagles. Um, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Not scared at all. You know what? I, I'm not even worried about the defense anymore, if I'm being honest. It's that second half of the year stride, you know? A lot of people might not remember, um, but last year, we blew so many people out in the second quarter that they didn't really remember that our defense was super spotty, you know? Uh, first off, hang on, hang on, hang on. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you've been here before and you like what we're doing, please like. If you don't like me or you disagree, comment down below so I can ignore you, but I know that you watch the video and that you help the algorithm. All of your support and rude comments go a long way to the channel's success. With that being said, back to the video. Now, as we were saying, um, our defense was boo-boo in the second half last year. Um, uh, we just beat so many teams so bad in the second quarter that I don't think people really remembered how shitty our defense was at times. Um, you know, and now with Bayard, uh, Slay, Bradbury, uh, Ed Reed blanket shit back there, you know, the old uh, Caucasian reincarnation of Ed Reed, if you will. Um, <coughs> you know, uh, Zach Cunningham, uh, Nicholas Moreau, uh, you know, Jalen Carter, Cox, Graham, Sweat. I mean, guys, our defense is loaded. The D coordinator is the only thing holding us back. And I like Nick Sirianni. My favorite thing about Nick Sirianni is, is self-scouting. It is the second half of games. It is the second half of a season. It is looking at the people that you have on your staff and your roster and not being afraid to say, you fucking suck. You suck. Do better. People forget. Y'all were starting to climb aboard the Jonathan Gannon train right before the Super Bowl. And y'all forgot that's Mahomes. Mahomes is going to tear up every fucking D coordinator in the league. Doesn't matter. Okay? But y'all were just starting to like Jonathan Gannon. And then right there at the end, suddenly everybody's tune changed. I'm not here to lie to you guys. I'm not here to judge. I was right there with you. I was right there with you. Ready to jump off the ledge together, okay? We were ready to write JG apology letters and videos. I probably got a video on the channel that's a JG apology video at some point in the season. At some point, he locked down somebody, and I was like, oh, I love you. The team's going to the Super Bowl. And we did, and we lost. Don't do it again. Don't get over-focused on that shit again. Our defense was boo-boo last year at times. At times. Second half of games, we gave up a lot of points. Uh, certain games, we just gave up a lot of yards. We made certain quarterbacks look like prime Brady, prime Manning. Um, <coughs> it just, there was a lot last year, and a lot of people aren't talking about it. So, why am I talking about that? Why am I rambling about that? Because the Eagles are playing the fucking Chiefs, if you forgot, okay? We're playing the Kansas City Chiefs tonight, all right? And this is the perfect game, the perfect game for Sean Desai to prove to me that he's not Jonathan Gannon. That's the point of everything I've been saying. That is the whole point of everything that I've been saying, is it is time for Sean Desai to prove he's not Jonathan Gannon. I think we have more talent this year than we did last year. Let me say that again. I think we have more talent this year on defense than we did last year. Hell, you could say across the board. We will be missing Dallas Goddard. That sucks. You know, we it, our special team still is not great. That sucks. But guys, I'm I'm not scared. I'm just not scared anymore. 
I trust Nick Sirianni to make the adjustments. I trust Nick Sirianni to look everybody, player, coach, friend, foe, in their face and say, you suck. Do better. Everyone in the league, everyone on the team can say this is just another game. Jordan Mulata sold everybody out because the way he said it is the way it is. Jordan Mulata said, it might just be another game to everybody else, but every time I see that team, I can't stop thinking about the confetti falling on my head. He sold the whole team out. You think everybody don't feel that way? You think Jalen Hurts ain't going into this game going, no, I'm not fumbling. I ain't throwing a pick. I'll throw it for 230 yards, zero touchdowns, zero interceptions, and the win before he goes in this game and makes a mistake. I bet money. I think Kevin Byard is going to be better than CJ GJ once he gets settled. Um, I think that uh, Reed Blankenship is better. Uh, um, I forgot his name already. That's sad. I really liked old boy last year that played safety for us, and I forgot his name already. Comment down below. Remind me what the other safety's name was. Um, you know, and then we got guys waiting in the wings. You know, uh, uh, Sidney Brown, um, uh, Justin Evans coming off IR. You know, so we do have safety depth. You know, I'm not too worried about those guys. I'm pretty, pretty confident in our secondary as a whole. Uh, uh, Bradley Roby coming back. Um, Avante Maddox moving around a lot on the sidelines. Um, potential he'll be back for a playoff push, which would be just in time, exactly what we need. Um, you know, it, it just, I'm just not scared. You know, we're getting healthy at the right time. You know, we are two games up on the whole league outside of the Lions, essentially. Um, you know, we have beaten everybody that's been thrown at us short of the Jets, which Jalen Hurts lost that game. Let's be real. We didn't lose that game. Jalen lost that game and he knows it. He's got to be better, but you know, that is what it is. You know, we have beaten every team that has faced us this year. You know, we have found ways to win against everybody. We will do it again to this week against the Chiefs. We're going to continue to do it for the next couple weeks because I got news for you. The Bills are beatable. The Chiefs are beatable. Um, the Cowboys on the road don't scare me. Um, Detroit don't scare me. You know, I mean, who's supposed to scare me? You know, this is a down year in football. I've been talking to friends about this. I want to share it with you guys and see what y'all think. Let me know down below. Um, I think this is a weak football year. I think a lot of teams are playing really bad football. There are a lot of teams that we expected to be good, and they're just not. Um, you know, people are getting fired, and I don't necessarily think that's right because I think if you look across the league, there's a lot of bad football being played. I mean, every time someone says the Eagles are first in a statistic, I just kind of laugh. And we're 8-1, and one, so I shouldn't. I should know because we've been playing well, we've been doing well. Um, but it just makes me laugh because it doesn't feel like it. You know, it, it, it Burrow out for the season. Um, Justin Fields down for a couple games. Uh, Aaron Rodgers down for the season. Uh, Tua was the hottest quarterback in the league, and now the Dolphins look mid. Um, the Bucks look good, but not good enough to win. Um, the Chargers don't look good. Uh, the Broncos, Russell Wilson looks good. The rest of the team, you know, is 50, 50. I mean, it just, even the chiefs, you know, look mid, everybody looks mid. We look mid. We've been bitching all year. The Eagles don't look like they're, they're good enough. They could be better. They could be better. They could be better. Do you notice that every week we're like, we could be better. It's not just us. It's the whole league. So I think we got to take advantage. I think if we got to spam, you know, inside zone to win a game, then that's what we should do. If we got to spam A.J. Brown slants to win a game, that's what we got to do. You know, I think we got to take advantage of this year. I think it's a down year in the NFL, and I think we have a chance to go back and win it all. You know, and honestly, our second Super Bowl in six years, a great core of guys, a great nucleus 
uh, behind Jalen Hurts, around Jalen Hurts. You know, you got to take advantage of this. Um, you know, I thought the Cowboys looked good earlier in the season, but they kind of proved me wrong. I'm not really scared of them. Giants, Commanders, I mean, it's just, you got to win it all this year. You know, we're 8-1. and one. Easy, uh, uh, easy, easy, easy to get complacent, but I'm also not scared of anybody. So, you know, tell me what you guys think. Y'all think it's been a down NFL year? Anyway, guys, that's it for me for right now. I feel like crap. I'm sure you hear it in my voice. I'm scatterbrained. Can't really formulate all my thoughts the way I'd like to, but it is what it is. I appreciate you guys so much. The last video blew up. Sorry I haven't been back sooner, but you know how it is, guys. I'm here when I'm here. I'm here when there's something to talk about. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Sorry for all the F-bombs. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.